This is Twit. Are you ready? Scientists. <laughs> Always love any story that begins with scientists achieve record breaking fusion stability. Bringing us good one step news, closer. everyone. And guess what? They're <laughs> French scientists, so you know they're good. Scientists in France have just shattered a fusion energy record holding plasma. It's hard to hold plasma. They've held it longer than ever before. Big step toward nuclear fusion. We keep making these steps. Uh, the French Atomic Energy Commission in southern France has held, maintained a plasma field for... 22 minutes uh stability obviously is important the particles are at 100 million degrees celsius <laughs> which uh is in freedom units 1.8 million degrees fahrenheit uh, atoms collide at incredible speeds that's where the plasma comes from a superheated electrically charged gas but maintaining that stability is challenging <clears throat> and uh, the 22 minute record is a significant improvement over previous attempts. You this know, Leo, I, I love science and I love fusion technology. I love the advancements that they've been making, but it, it, as, as much as this is sort of big headline science, the, the issue is no matter how long you're able to maintain a fusion or even a fission reaction in a controlled environment, the, mechanism that we use to convert that into usable electrical power goes back to the steam engine we haven't made any massive strides in the conversion of this energy directly into electrical power that we can use to power you still have to turn a turbine to generate yeah, electricity exactly. with steam yeah yeah this is this is just a, a bigger fire it's a bigger boiler yeah, but it's a bigger fire that is that burns not coal not oil but water that's a start, yeah, that's, right? The the thing about fusion is that for people, I'm sure everyone knows, but it is it, it essentially means unlimited energy. Correct. And like the, we're getting, we have enough advancements uh, in the as you mentioned, Leo. In the past few years, there's been like significant improvements and advancements uh, to the 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 experiments that we could imagine in the not too distant future that actually working the problem is now it still eats up more energy to create yeah, that reaction right. than it puts that's out right. um so it's really <laughs> it's really not usable at all yet um but until we you have a, a net gain fire. in energy yeah. you're not doing anything important but, but see and, even then they're talking about the net gain of how much power you have to put into to start the fusion reaction right. and, then can, and then create the magnetic bottle to contain the fusion reaction versus the amount of heat that it puts out. It's not even factoring the fact that we're going to lose a massive percentage to the, the heat and mechanical loss of pushing it through a steam engine. So you need a so, lot of uh, net. The, you need a, huge a lot of net. This is part of a broader international effort uh, to create fusion. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, is being built in southern France. It's a collaboration of China, the EU, India, Japan, South Korea, Russia, the US. Everybody's trying to do this and they're working together, which is pretty damn impressive to build the world's largest yeah. tokamak. Um, it will stand 30 meters tall, weigh 230, uh, sorry, 23,000 tons. And they're the primary goal to achieve a tenfold energy gain. In other words, producing 500 megawatts from 50 megawatts of input. Um, and so there, there are two things here first of all this isn't going to be practical like we're not going to have lights lit up by fusion reaction for the next few decades probably i i don't think you know it's not until we probably won't be here anymore but imagine a world it changes everything that yeah where energy energy is essentially free yeah. it is insane the impact on society that it would have like that's the post scarce first, that's a post scarcity world Right. Yeah. That same that's technology used yeah, exactly. by the sun. It, it changes everything. It changes and everything. It, yeah. And like it, the first thing you think, well, maybe not everyone thinks about that, but when you think about AI and big uh, data centers, the first thing at least I think about is, okay, where are we getting the energy from? Right. Right. And how much is it going to cost energy wise? That's the main constraint. That's what half, what, what uh, Jensen Huang uh, spent half his keynote talking about almost last week. He was like, your gains, your business uh, um, uh, uh, 
b- profits are going to be constrained by how much energy you can have. Like right. this is the main concern. So once we have fusion, it's going to change everything. However, it's not coming for a while. And oh, we do man. have something. Oh, we get do my have hopes something up. which works right. really well, and that is the next best best thing, and that's uh, fission. Solar. Like oh, yeah. fission. no fission, nuclear, fission, Gen four, nuclear, Gen 4 nuclear Gen, reactors. Yeah, Gen four nuclear work, reactors can actually take the waste from previous generation reactors and use, and it, as use fuel. it to <laughs> yeah. And and it seems like, again, AI is pushing a lot of companies, including big tech companies in the US, to kind of get the financial uh, impetus to fight the negative image that uh, uh, nuclear has in the US and, uh, and elsewhere and actually invest in nuclear because it is, it's not super clean, but it's definitely uh, decarbonated. I don't know if that's a term in English. And it, it creates a lot of energy. <laughs> um, yeah. And and it is a solution to a lot of our problems un- until we get fusion uh, going. In France, we have, I think, something like what is it? Seventy percent of our energy is is uh, Th- nuclear. That's down, right? You you were eighty, I believe, at one point, and that's it's yeah. No, a it's, bit. I, I think it's more. I, I don't have the exact. Basically, we don't have to worry about energy because we have so much nuclear, uh, and and it's a specific thing that we have in France, and it is old model reactors, like it's the ones that we were building in the 70s. The, the Gen new two. generations are much, much uh, uh, mm-hmm. better and more efficient and recycled uh, and safer. Uh, waste product. Yes. Yeah, you, you can't melt down a Gen 4 reactor. It's, it's physically impossible because they've designed the fueling system so that if it gets to the point where it's an out of control reaction, the pellets actually expand and it shuts down the, the reaction. It's, I mean, I, Gen 4 would be amazing, except for the fact that we had Three Mile Island and Chernobyl, and we are so afraid as a nation, the United States I'm talking about, that we don't even want to talk about nuclear power. Yeah, unlike but France, Germany AI. just decommissioned all of its nuclear power plants. They took them all yeah. offline. But uh, AI is, you know, that's the beauty of capitalism. Yeah, we need, the, um, we need the power now. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. now, uh, who is it like uh, Google, Meta, and someone else went and signed uh, the agreements of, I can't remember the name of the organizations. It's, it's essentially promising, uh, try, vying to triple the amount of energy. Uh, With these new modular, energy. small modular uh, nuclear yeah. power plants. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.